How number 3 Colorado women's hoops quickly rose to national prominence. No one in college basketball had a better opening week than Colorado. There's no blueprint for a team on the outskirts of national notoriety looking to break into the conversation or at least, there wasn't. But the Buffs may have written one. Step 1, return all the major pieces from a Sweet 16 run. Step 2, start your season with a lopsided win over the country's number one squad and defending national champion. Step 3, keep winning. Not exactly an easy plan to follow, yet Colorado has made it look effortless. The Buffs shocked many a college basketball fan when they defeated then no one LSU 92-78, skyrocketing them from number 20 to number 3 in the AP poll. But how surprising was it, really? The Buffs had all the pieces, and last season they came together, showing flashes throughout the 2022-23 season of what LSU saw on November 6. This season, that same team is more polished, and more experienced. Key moments in 2022-23 Colorado's peers in the Pac-12 surely weren't surprised by the win over LSU, as the Buffs went 10-5 in conference play with wins over Utah, Arizona, UCLA, and Washington State during the regular season. Included in that stretch was a double overtime loss to number 3 Stanford where Colorado forced 18 turnovers that turned into 18 points. The Buffs then made their way to the NCAA tournament earning a number 6 seed, and top middle Tennessee in the opening round. That victory marked the program's first tournament win since 2003. Colorado went on to upset number 3 Duke in overtime, before falling to eventual runner-up Iowa in the Sweet 16. The Hawkeyes won by 10 points, but it was a closer contest than the final score indicated, as Colorado trailed by just 4 points with 131 to play. Still, that tournament run left head coach J.R. Payne with a lot of positives to build on in the offseason. Style of play. Colorado is a defense-first team that forced 16.6 turnovers per game last season, while holding opponents to just 59.3 points per contest. That defensive prowess helped create chaos against LSU, and the Buffs forced 19 turnovers and limited the Tigers to just four makes from beyond the arc. Through four games this season, Colorado has won by an average of 24.8 points, largely thanks to the pressure its defense provides and the flow it leads to on offense. Meanwhile, Colorado's attack has improved from last season, as the Buffs went from scoring 69.2 points per game to 89.8 points per game. Per her hoops stats, Colorado is 13th out of 360 teams in both offensive and defensive rating.